Brad Thomas here with Von Delzell, and this weekend, season two of the USFL kicks off. Von, I am stoked for some yeah. spring football. How you feeling? Of course. Who doesn't love football? But getting it in the spring, too, it's just it's a nice thing to have here. And the USFL slowly growing in season two. It's going to be an exciting year. Yeah, the Birmingham Stallions are back to defend their title, and games are no longer played exclusively in wow. Birmingham. Can you give us a breakdown of the new cities and the new divisions? That's right. One city to four now. Birmingham is not the lone city. We also got Memphis, Tennessee, Detroit, Michigan, and Canton, Ohio. League is still made of eight teams. We still got the divisions of the North and South. So taking a deeper breakdown here at the North Division, we have the New Jersey Generals, the Philadelphia Stars, the Michigan Panthers, and the Pittsburgh Maulers. Now the Michigan Panthers and Philadelphia Stars will play their home games in Detroit, Michigan at Ford Field, home of the Detroit Lions, a.k.a. America's new team. Then the Pittsburgh Maulers and the New Jersey Generals will play their home games in Canton, Ohio, home to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, and of course, where they play the 2022 USFL Championship game. Taking a deeper look at the South Division, as you mentioned, the Stallions looking for a repeat. They are leading this division along with the New Orleans Breakers, Houston Gamblers, and no longer do we have the Tampa Bay Bandits. They are now the Memphis Showboats. So the Memphis Showboats and Houston Gamblers will play their home games in Memphis at Simmons Bank Liberty Stadium, home to the University of Memphis Tigers. While those Birmingham Stallions give, still get the home field advantage, but they welcome in the New Orleans Breakers as well to split that, that site with them. So we have eight teams, Brad, four cities, two divisions, a lot of exciting football on the way in 2023. I'm super stoked. Of, of those cities, uh, which one are you most excited to bring USFL football to? Well, I've never been to Detroit, so I would love to catch a game at Ford Field because I like the Philadelphia Stars a lot. But as you know, I'm a 4-1-2 Pittsburgh guy. The Pittsburgh Maulers made a big jersey switch, a color change. They're now rocking the black and gold. So can Ohio, I'm going to have to go check out my Maulers there in person. Well, more than half the league enters with NFL experience this season. And last season's MVP, Cavante Turpin, he ultimately signed a deal with the Dallas Cowboys. So it's been made clear that the USFL wants this to be a pipeline to the NFL. Are there any players that we should watch out for this season? Yeah, and I definitely think this can be a pipeline to the NFL. A guy that's already has a little NFL experience being on a roster is Kay Cookus, the quarterback for the Philadelphia Stars. Case had led the highest scoring offense in the seat in the league last year, over 26 points per game. He actually came in week three because the original starter got injured. He did so well that he led them to a USFL championship game. Unfortunately, they lost to Birmingham and he broke his leg, but his story does not stop there because he was signed to the LA Rams practice squad. So he got to learn a little under Sean McVay and Matthew Stafford after 12 touchdowns of five picks and over 1,200 yards last year. I like him a lot in this market, but if you're looking for a sneaky MVP pick, let's take a look at DeAndre Johnson, the quarterback for the New Jersey Generals. This guy completed 72% of his passes last year, over 1,000 total yards and six touchdowns. May not seem that impressive, but he was a part of a two-quarterback system. But guess what, Brad? He's the lone ranger this year for New Jersey. So if he eclipses 2,000 total yards – and 15 touchdowns, that dual threat ability could make him a sneaky MVP pick. Okay, so you got Cookus, Johnson, MVP candidates. Does that mean Philadelphia and New Jersey, they are threats to win it all? Yeah, I know you like Birmingham, but I like New Jersey and Philadelphia better than Birmingham in this, this scenario. Now, we know the Stallions going for the repeat. It's hard to repeat in any sport, but now with more locations, giving these teams in 2023 a home field type of advantage, a home type type of feeling, uh, this should be able to lead teams to be able to beat Birmingham, kind of overlap them. But what I want to hit on is those MVP caliber quarterbacks. Definitely take these teams to the next notch. But I'm taking the New Jersey Generals to win it all because last year they were on a nine-game winning streak before they lost to Philadelphia and the playoffs. But Philly's defense was an issue last year, allowing the most points per game. Uh, so give me the Generals to win the 2023 USFL title. Last year, betting the USFL was easy for me. Bet Birmingham because they're in Birmingham. I even won a future on them. This is a reminder to everyone, the USFL kicks off this weekend. Best of luck. Take care.